jambo jambo bwana habari gani nzuri sana wageni mwakaribishwa Kenya yetu hakuna matata What's up beautiful people? Welcome back to another video. It's your girl Kayla and this is the Soul Trip. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much um, for rocking with your girl. Anyways, let's get into today's video. As you all know, I went to Tanzania. If you have not watched those vlogs, what are you doing? Like what? Just click off this video and go check those out like right now. Then come back to this video. But I've been back for like two weeks now, y'all embarrassingly i just unpacked yesterday so i don't know if y'all are like me if your team take forever to unpack usually really two weeks is quick like i usually don't even unpack that soon i have not opened or went through the souvenirs so i thought you know why not go ahead and do this on camera we're gonna do like a little tanzania souvenir Tanzania shopping haul, whatever you want to call it, but let's go ahead and do that. First thing first, I am so excited to show this. Let me put it up because I don't know if I'll get a copyright strike for having this, but this is like an African sword, an African knife. So cool. This is my boyfriend's, but it's, it's really mine because, you know, I'm just about that life. I'm about that ninja life. So this is really, really cool. The outside is made from wood, and you can tell that it was handcrafted. It's, this is really dope, so this is something really cool to have from Africa. The second thing, and y'all, I thought this was so cool. I can't tell if this is supposed to be a nipple. Y'all let me know. It has like a little bump, and it looks like it has like an areola. Again, I don't wanna get copy strikes, so let me not keep showing this as if it was a boot, but it is this little noise maker. Jambiani. Yo, I love this thing. I love it, love it, love it. So this is just, okay, so my memory card ran out of storage, but we're back now. Let's continue on. The next thing I do want to show off is this beautiful handcrafted bag, y'all. This bag was so pretty. They did have like a lot of bags like this um, and different vendors, you know, trying to sell the bag for different prices. I made sure to get it at the best price that I could but this bag is so cute. So I needed a bag to carry all of this stuff back because I didn't have room in my carry-on or my suitcase or my boyfriend's suitcase. So we got this bag and y'all, I just love it. It is so sturdy, such great material. It, it is a bag that I don't plan on like actually using probably, but just something to keep. And you know, if I ever need like a little tote that's sturdy, it will come in handy. So let's just go through it. So this here, and I'm not gonna try it on. I will insert clips of me wearing it. This here was gifted to me by um, a village. So we did a tour while we were there. And if you haven't watched my vlogs, you probably won't know, just go check it out. But while we were in that village cooking with the locals, they provided me with their traditional clothing and showed me like the different ways to wear it and the different meanings. So I am so happy to have this. You probably really won't see me wearing this. It is just something that I want to keep and treasure forever. Moving on, I guess I will show you all just different herbs that we got. We didn't go too crazy with the herbs, but we did get like fresh ginger root. I'll insert a picture here. We also got some lemongrass, if you all can see. And then we also got red cloves. So they're really known for their red clove. That is the biggest spice that they um, will export. So then we also got some ginger powder as well as the ginger root that I just showed you all. We got ginger powder. Another cool thing that I got, um, I did get some soap. So I was really surprised. I didn't come across like shea butter and African black soap like I thought I would. Maybe that's more West Africa, but I did come across like just various soaps. I got a lemongrass soap, it's already been used. I also got this um, turmeric soap and I cannot wait to use it. So the only ingredients are coconut oil and turmeric powder. So I do plan to ch try this out on my face and I'll keep y'all posted. If y'all wanna know like how that goes and how it works, let me know in the comments and I can keep y'all posted. Moving on, 
Um, I got this ashtray that was like made out of a coconut that says Zanzibar. It says Hakuna Matata. I thought this was really neat and cool. This is a souvenir for my younger sister. She likes to collect ashtrays and pipes and all of that because, you know, she's into that. So I got that for her. Got this fan, which I thought was so pretty and so cute. Keeping me cool, keeping me cool. This is a souvenir that I got from my cousin. So I can't wait to gift this to her. I hope she likes it. I got it because um, it made me think of her place. Her couch is like this turquoise color. So I thought that would be really cool to, you know, keep in her living room or whatever. Another thing that I got is this hat. I actually forgot that I had this. So I'm glad I'm doing this on camera because y'all, this is, you'll see, this is like my first time going in this bag. But I got this cool hat. I got it at a really good price, so I'm so happy about that. But it says Zanzibar, it's so cool. It reminds me of like a Rastafarian, Jamaican type of style hat. So yeah, I took some pictures. I wore it while I was out there to take pictures, so I'll insert that on the screen. Moving on, moving on to these different dashikis. We got like a, several dashiki. Some are not in this bag because like my boyfriend was wearing his. But these are just souvenirs that we got for family members. Moving on, we also got like little magnets, different things like that for our family. So these magnets are like in the shape of Africa and they say Hakuna Matata, Zanzibar. We got keychains that say Zanzibar. You know, you gotta, you gotta get the little magnets and keychains. That's common for the souvenirs. So, you know what? I forgot that a lot of this stuff was wrapped. BRB, let me go get some scissors. Okay, so I'm back now. I got my scissors. Y'all, this is something I am really excited about. This became like a must have. Like, I need to get this while I'm in Africa. Cause I won't be happy if I leave this continent without having one of these. If I can just get it open. So I don't even know what these are called, but your girl had to have it. I don't know if they're called a mixer or what. I don't, I don't know, I need to look and see which way to do this. But if you all watch my vlogs, again, I, I will keep referencing the vlogs because they're just special to me, but <laughs> This um, is like a mixer or chopper, whatever you wanna call it, but you can like literally vegetables, herbs, whatever, you can like chop them, make them, you know, like mash them. Maybe this is called a masher. I don't know, but I really wanted one, especially after in the local village cooking. Like while we were cooking, this is what we were using to like mash up the onions, the garlics, the seasonings, the greens, like this is, what we were using so i really wanted one of these i am really big into herbs so i can't wait to like take ginger and make it into powder with this or just do different things with this and i thought it was so beautiful because it is handcrafted again and into the wood they have all of these different animals carved into the wood so they have elephants just an elephant and a rhino but i thought that was so cute so i can't wait to give this a use so the last few things that if you want to see, this is the bag without anything in it. So cute, right? It's cute, it's cute. Okay, so this is the bag without anything. I got these little noise makers for my little cousin. Okay, so these little noise makers, I thought this was cute for little kids, but they just twist and make noises. Hey, we're gonna start a band. Okay, I look really crazy right now. But anyways, y'all can see we kind of was excited about the noise makers, but one has an elephant on it and says Hakuna Matata Zanzibar. This one says Hakuna Matata Zanzibar as well, and it has a giraffe. Got two mugs, which let me show you all. Okay, isn't this mug so pretty? Like, isn't this so pretty? Like, the handle is an elephant's trunk, and then look at the design, y'all. 
It's covered with animals. It says Hakuna Matata Zanzibar. It is so pretty. I just love the colors. I love, I just love everything about this mug. And it is so, the material is amazing. Like I don't, I think this is like pure stone. I don't know, but it is rock solid hard. And this other mug here, it is more, um, it's more of your traditional type mug. It is in black and white, and you can tell that it was painted. It says Jumbo on it, which in Swahili, Jumbo means like hello or hey. Then it has Zanzibar painted on the handle. But I thought this was super cute as well, if it will focus. So the last and final thing that I want to show here on camera is so near and dear to my boyfriend and I. I just can't even put into words how special this is so this was gifted if you have watched the vlogs again our very last day in zanzibar before we left to go back to the main island dar es salaam we um were invited into a family's home it was a guy that my boyfriend had met or we both had met while we were out eating and y'all he was so sweet his wife his daughter like the hospitality was just so amazing He's a local artist, so he gifted us, because he knew it was our birthdays, with one of his original paintings. And y'all, okay, I'm trying not to even cry just thinking about it. it. It was just such a magical and special experience. Like, I just can't believe I even experienced that. But I'll insert, like, the actual picture on the screen. Look at this look at this like he just came out and he like surprised us he was like hey which one do you like more and i pointed to this one and he was like happy birthday is yours i wanted to give this to you all and yeah we're that's a family that family is our family now so we've been talking to them every single day since we've been back we're trying to plan when we'll go back out there. If you have any questions about going to Africa, if you've always wanted to, if you've been on a fence, this is your sign to go. I promise you, there's no other place in this world that I would rather go than the motherland and Tanzania did not disappoint. So on that note, me and this beautiful portrait, we're going to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, again, go check out the Tanzania vlogs if you haven't already. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It really, really helps the channel. Thank you all so much for supporting myself and my channel and sending so much love to you all. Peace and God bless.